Hi, welcome to my playhouse. A few weeks ago, I fixed my mom's uh, hinge cutter. I have no idea for cutting the bushes and hinges. And it worked great for a couple of times, she said. And then the battery went dead and she was not able to charge it. This battery comes with this little charger here. And I got it back to see if I could find out what was wrong with it now. The last time the battery was just drained so much that this little charger was not able to charge it up. And I'm guessing that's the same thing that is going on this time, that the battery is just too dead for the charger to charge. This time I wanted to see what the voltage does when I plug in the battery to see if it just drops so low that uh, there's no power coming into the battery. So we're gonna take this apart and just test it to make sure that it's not working. I haven't actually done that today. Nope. Still not going. This is a little 18 volt battery. Like that. So let's take that apart. Here is the battery. Just take it out of here just to show it. There is kind of a big circuit board down here that uh, takes care of the charging and it also switches off the battery when the voltage is too low and stuff like that. So I think we can keep it in here for now and let's just measure the voltage on it. We have a black lead and we have a red lead and we are measuring 6.25 volts. That's way too little. That's not enough. Let's check the cells if there is any of the cells that are really bad. 4 volts. 3 point something. Almost 4. Nothing. I think we have a bad cell here. And four walls. So this one is bad. Okay. That's not very very good to have a dead cell in the middle of everything. I'm just gonna try and give it a shock and see what happens if I do that. It looks really dead. I have some extras, these are totally other brand of battery, but I think they fit in there. I might be able to exchange it for one of those and get this up and running again. But I'm just gonna give the, the battery a shock, see if, if that will help. I just wanna be sure what's plus and what's minus on these. That's the wrong way, and that's the right way, okay. So plus is over here and minus is over there. And I'm judging it with an amp, 12 volts, just to give it a shock. Let's see if it took some of that power or if it's just a short circuit. Yeah, this looks really dead. Really just look like that this cell is completely short circuited. Mm. Might be the insulation here that is that is bad. Just gonna give that a go. Try and see if we can. Raise this up a little bit. Something like that. Oh, that way. It's 
still kind of dead. Multimeter over here when I do this. Just get this one out of the way. When I put these leads on, can we see that? Yeah, we can see the the amp meter here goes up one amp, and the volt meter goes down. Plus minus, and there it draws one amp, uh, but it's more or less just a short circuit. It might be the electronics that is bad, but then, then, yeah, no, no, it has to be the battery that is just short circuited. You can actually try and see if it just beeps. Yeah, they just all beeps. Yeah. There is no voltage coming out of that one, so I'll try and disassemble this. Take these connections off with a piece of pliers and try and have a closer look at the battery itself. It's a 1.3 milliamp hours regular 3.6 volt lithium ion battery and this is the size of the battery which is the 18650S. So let's measure this and see if there's anything absolutely dead. Let's just try and give it a shock. It's drawing one amp. It's, I think it's just short circuited. It's dead. It's a dead cell. I have some over here. I think uh, these are probably a lot better quality than the one. This is a cheap gardening tool and these are rather expensive computer equipment stuff from uh, probably an it's an old laptop so I'm gonna take one of these I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna put that in instead just gonna be sure that there is some power on this one let's see plus minus that way around yeah 3.1 volts it hasn't been charged I think I've had this one laying around for some years now okay we're charging it. it it takes a current and just don't want to overdo it Let's see if the voltage went up yeah not really but it looked a lot better than the other one we're gonna put this in and see what happens Better put it in right, otherwise we will have some nasty business. There is, there is a couple of spacers here. I'm guessing that this battery bank is able to... I could have gotten some cells that was bigger and put those in, instead of having these stupid rings. Okay, I'm just turning the battery a little around so that it will uh, get equipped. Uh, I and I'll put a piece of electric tape down there. So, oh, I'll just turn on the soldering iron over here. Get that heated up. 
and we're gonna put on a piece of electric tape to hopefully prevent some kind of bad short circuiting when I'm soldering. These batteries are pretty powerful. It's much easier to solder on the metal that they have put on there from the company than uh, getting something to stick on the batteries themselves. And the soldering iron is now heated. And wouldn't you know, we just the solder for another project. I've put the solder on here and it's, it's helping charge this battery back. So I have an emergency roll right here. Probably just as good. So. It stayed down there. Just feeling if any of the batteries are getting really, really hot. Then I might want to throw this somewhere else. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just put this battery down and it short circuited some of the battery and <laughs> and melted the solder. Powerful batteries, I'm telling you. So let's get this connection too. Measure it, make sure that nothing is short circuited. Three point something, four point, also good, also good, also good. Okay, so let's put this back together. Let's measure the voltage of the battery. We have about 18 volts on the battery now. We have almost 19 volts, 18.9 volts. So that should be good. Um, so probably this cell was the bad one. So now we just need to test it. And we're just gonna plug it in, in the bench cutter. And it works, great. My mom is gonna be so happy. This probably has to charge again because the battery I put in was not fully charged. I hope the circuitry inside will be able to even that out because it's not normally good to blend uh, batteries. But this bench cutter was on the way to the trash because it wasn't working. Better to have something that is working somewhat than something that's not working at all. I could go ahead and have exchanged all of the batteries. It was just this little thing that was faulty. It's totally short-circuited. I don't know why I got it to work the last time. Don't want to mingle with this every second week, so hopefully the replacement of this cell will be good. Hope you got something out of this. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Stand still.